This is a comparison of the original VNA uh, vector network analyzer against the new VNA F version 2. Um, just so you can get some idea of the sizes, um, I will show the displays in a minute. But basically, in the kit of the original, yeah, you've got the VNA, the stylus, load, short, and open, and some through leads. You get pretty much the same with the, the larger device. Uh, the F2 or F version 2 uh, but you get a few extra connections um, um, and also a nice carry case to put it in as well um, this was bought on um, eBay not eBay sorry sorry the, uh, the this was bought on eBay the Nano VNA uh, and it cost around about 30 pounds at the time UK pounds and the F version 2 was bought on Amazon for around about 130 pounds so there is quite a price difference um, but when I show the displays I think you can see that signal there uh, the back of the units have a quick look at that uh, this one's a sysjoint.com uh, which I have updated the firmware to version 3 um, I'm not sure the make of this one it could be a generic copy um, it does, does have a circuit board on it um, as a back I believe and uh, the front but it didn't come in a case really I just 3d printed this case um, this utilizes USB-C on off uh, but this jog shuttle wheel which I don't think is very uh, responsive at all really to be honest um, but it does what it says on the tin because um, you can still use the uh, the, the pen to, do, to uh, move things around on the screen um, this one's a lot nicer um, you've got a type C uh, your on off button um, blue LED red LED for charging and then you've got these buttons for actually doing the functions that you need to use or you can use the touch screen on the on the uh, display using the pen um, but they they both work well they both do the, the uh, what they say on the tin um, the problem with this one I find is that the screen is just so small on it I need a pair of glasses and a magnifying lens to see it this one I can just get away with my glasses uh, so this one would be the the generally go-to from going out into the field so to speak um, but what I'll do is I'll do a quick show you of the uh, display so you can look at that yourself okay I thought I'd just have a quick look at the size differences um, across the frontage um, effectively we've got five inches that way or 13 centimeters on the F2 or F version 2 sorry as I keep saying and on the uh, the original VNA, small one, Nano, um, we are looking at nine centimeters, uh, which is roughly three and a half inches. Uh, the width is roughly three inches, and on this one, it's just under two and a half inches. Thickness is about the same, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but let's have a quick look at the uh, displays so we can see what they look like. Okay, this is just a quick comparison now of the uh, displays. The bottom obviously is the original Nano VNA. Um, so it's not really measuring anything at the moment. Um, I basically I've just turned them on so you can have a look. Um, the top is the F version 2 uh, running the uh, 0 0.30 new software. Um, the, uh, the That's coming through okay anyway, but it gives you some idea of um, the, how the displays look now the the original VNA as I said before I can I can read it with my glasses on but I still have to squint and outside it's near enough impossible um, the new VNA the uh, F version 2 I can actually with squinting read it without my glasses and uh, with my glasses is perfectly clear um, again outside it's still not particularly brilliant in direct sunlight um, very hard to see the display. You'd have to use it at a slight angle out of the sunlight um, But you can adjust the brightness on this top one in the menu um, If you go into config, uh, there is a brightness setting there at the moment it's at 80 Let's stick it on 100 Go back back Okay, I don't know if that made any difference. I can't see any difference, but I can't see a, a brightness setting on this one I've got touch, touch test, say version. No, nothing. So that one comes as standard. So, but let's just put the menu on anyway. 
so you can see the difference there are some slight differences in the menus uh, but if you've used the original one I don't think you'll have any problem at all um, I'll just do a quick comparison I have a um, two meter antenna um, and just see how they both look this is the uh, Nano VNA F version 2 with a um, Diamond X510 showing a span between 110 to 170 megahertz and I've set a marker uh, which is at 1442 which is uh, 1.14121 um, let's just move it up a little bit 145400 a bit much there which is not far off the calling frequency at 1 1.21 to 1 um, again this is the uh, Diamond X510 right let's do the same for the original Nano VNA okay that's the output from the Nano VNA um, again set at uh, 144.2 is the bottom peak um, I'm not sure if I can adjust that up or not um, this is a nice thing, feature about the uh, the larger you do get the scales down the side which you don't get with this I've only shown SWR at the moment and again I've set that to uh, 145400 which I'm far off the calling frequency but it gives you some idea and we're showing an SWR of 1.18 to 1 on that um, same frequency range 110 meg to 170 meg um, so they both do the same job um, it's just that you know um, the the top ones are just a little bit easy to see and cost 100 pound more so there is a little bit of discrepancy but um, this is showing uh, 1 to 1.21 uh, the that's the uh, F version 2 um, same frequency 145400 um, the important thing to remember with these things is that every time you change the frequency to do any measurements you must recalibrate um, down there you know if it's on there it says OSLC1 if it's got a little star by it, it's not calibrated and on this one it's on the side there if we can get into focus which I don't think I can uh, which is just there it's a little star by it, it's not calibrated um, so very little between the two really to be honest and can still give you a good representation of what you're looking at um, within points so I'm quite happy with that